Thank you very much, Emma Clare. Um, my name is Janice Wedlock, and I am a member of the Outcome Evaluation Working Group. But most importantly, my role on a day-to-day -day basis is to work with young people, children and families. And I've been a childhood support worker in the Monaghan office for the past six years. The overall aim of my presentation today is my personal journey through outcomes and standard evaluation tools. What this has meant for me as a staff member, but on behalf of my colleagues and also staff members on a whole. As already mentioned in 2007, um, NUI Galway was commissioned to look at standardised evaluation tools for the ISPCC. So what kind of reaction did us as staff have to this? Yes, I will admit, there's been a resistance of use purely because we didn't understand what are these, what have we been asked to do? So what were the kind of feelings, naturally? And I'm just going to be honest here, there was fear. Was there going to be more paperwork? We are here to work just directly with families. We're here to be out in the homes. But we decided, let's give it a go. We were wondering though, how, how did we bring this about to families? How are we going to ask families to do this? This was an extra thing that we were going to ask them to do. And I suppose in reality, I didn't appreciate the value. So if I'm to look back at now and think, you know, what value are standardised eva evaluation tools to me as a staff member? They are now an embedded part of my work, not just because ISPCC say, you have to do this, <laughs> but because I understand the value of it. As part of my, this is now an embedded part of my toolkit, along with the markers. The game, as Katie talked about earlier on in the presentation, my own communication skills base. You can't underestimate the power of asking a young person to fill out an evaluation tool at the beginning, exploring it with them. What has this meant for them? You know, what is their responses meant? And at the end, to evaluate this, to look, how has change happened for you? Or maybe what's happened that it hasn't happened, so what's going on for you? And you know, it's always such a pleasure. And at the end of uh, working with a young person and a family, to look back at the changes and to bring about that reflection with the family. In 2012, our outcome evaluation tool was re-looked at. And I suppose, if I'm to evaluate the outcome evaluation tool, it is a useful, informative, child-centred and important tool. Not only because we as staff get to measure our change and the outcomes, but most importantly, to get the voice of the child. That question that's asked, what do you think of ISPCC services? What would you like to see change in your life? And to be faced with that question as a young person and to be able to answer that and reflect, <coughs> well, what do I want to see change in my life? And to see their responses is so powerful. To be able to support them and empower them through change is so important. There is a lot more room for children and parents to have their opinions in comparison to psychometrics. So how do we accumulate this? So we have our standardised evaluation tools, we have our outcome evaluation tool, and we have our intervention plan and our goals with the families and young people that we work with. We have an evaluation form, another piece of paperwork that was introduced to us last year, I will admit. So our evaluation form, what is this? I got the pleasure, I, no, it's not, it wasn't a pleasure, of fill, being the first to fill this out in the northeast region. Um, and to be honest, when I looked at it, okay, I'm really going to have to study this to get used to this and filling it out. But you know, in, in um, bringing a service to children and families, they deserve the right and they deserve the respect of having what we have done with them evaluated. Firstly, and most importantly, as already touched on today by Dr. Helen Buckley, we look at our relationship. 
we look at the relationship between the young person, family, and um, us as staff. And I think that is so pivotal into the work we do. Yes, we can have outcome evaluation tools and standardised eva evaluation tools, but if we don't have that on the ground working relationship in there, week on, week out, returning the phone calls, as already touched on, meeting with them at, at the agreed time that we have met, uh, said we would meet with them, unless we have that relationships, we are not going to get these outcomes. Secondly, we look at the extent of the goals that we have identified and we very clearly ask the young person and family, what goals would you like to work on? What do you think things need to improve? We look at how these have been worked on through the whole case. We then look at what our outcome evaluation tool has told us. And this for me has been really interesting to see the responses because when they're asked to do this, alone from not being with us, they, if we ask them directly, I don't know if we would get the same responses as we get on the outcome evaluation tool. So upon reflection for the purposes of this presentation, I looked at a young person's response. They helped me with controlling my emotions and helped get used to not seeing my mum every day. One parent noticed that her daughter is more confident in herself talks out more when she meets people in the street. She answers out and talks to herself. I'm not as worried about her. One stakeholder noted, the student is much happier in school. Her attendance has improved significantly. She's mixing with other children and is engaging in group conversations, something which she hadn't been doing. This has helped to reduce her anxiety and certainly contributed to her overall contentment in school. The parent is much more relaxed. She is giving her child encouragement to be more assertive and also reinforce strategies that have been worked with her through our ISPCC worker. As an organisation and as individuals, it is vital when, and to be realistic when we are evaluating the service that we are offering. Yes, it's always fantastic to see positive change, but sometimes we don't. We need to look at why and how this has happened. Maybe something through the intervention has changed for the family that we are working with. So what has my role been in the OET working group? This is another piece of work that I had to take on as a staff member and something I was asked to do. To be honest, I didn't really know what this was going to mean for me. But I said, OK, I'll take on a new talent. I'll try and help. Was I going to have to write the questionnaire? or How is this going to work? Um, it, for me, it was a very interesting piece of work. But my main role in this was to be the pester lady for the rest of the staff. And any of my colleagues here today will know the email has come through from Janice again. OK, what's the feedback with the families? What are they saying? What are the young people saying about this new tool? What do we need to change? One of the biggest difficulties that we faced, and I'll be honest, and thankfully these have been rectified, were the technical hitches. Yes, I'm a technophobe. Fergal, I think you will agree, whoever you are, <laughs> as most of us are in the agency. Thankfully, these have been, um, these have been rectified. And one of the other changes, and I'm not going to go through all of them, obviously, purpose of time, was that um, th a lot of the questions we asked and used the statement, some young people. And this was confusing the young people and parents as they were reading this. They were thinking, do we mean some young people as a group and a whole? but we actually meant the young person themselves. This has now been changed and rectified. And all the feedback that I have brought back to the rocking group from my colleagues ha has been looked at and positive changes have been made. <coughs> so what does this mean? What do outcomes mean for me as a childhood support worker in the ISPCC? But firstly, before I look at this, what are our feelings now? It's useful, it helps us in our work. It helps us to bring together assessment information and further information that we can explore more with the families. It is hard work. It's a bit more paperwork, but it's definitely worth it. The young people, families, parents really like to be asked for their feedback and it helps them reflect as to why they are with us. Yes, we're still learning. 
So for me, what has this meant? I do my job because I want to see a difference. I want to see a change in children and families. To be on the ground to work with them will always be a pivotal part of my work. These are tools that help us, but being child-centred is the main thing. To see change and to see young people and families write in black and white. And you know, a child has a great ability to tell the truth when asked about an adult. Uh, I think a lot of you will agree. And it's so important that we do that. And I'm glad we do. Thank you all very much.